Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. So um, we'll start our video today. It's a little bit uh, different uh, because we have a new thing happening here. So more than the technique, the tips and tricks, the painting process, I will answer two important questions in this video. The first one, uh, what's my source of inspiration or how I start a painting and this question uh, keep coming back people want to know how to start their painting and I will try every painting have a different source of inspiration and I will try in every video to explain that the second question is what is a diptych and how to do it and this is an introduction to my coming uh, work because in the future in the coming months i'm going to work on uh, diptych triptych uh, or uh, polyptych so let's um, start by the first question uh, what's my source of inspiration as you see in this photo my source of inspiration today is these colors. I, I choose this to start with and to try to, to stick on this uh, limited colors because uh, black and white are value and I'm using them all the time. So they are not uh, colors. I don't consider them uh, as colors for the moment. What I choose as source uh, of inspiration is the teal blue lagoon uh, from golden uh, the ultramarine blue uh, from liquitex and then the gold as you see in the photo and there is another one which i it's uh, like uh, in the game uh, in the um, uh, family of gold too and it's named uh, it's a difficult name Kina Cridon, Kina Cridon Nickel Azu Gold. It's very, very nice fluid, uh, fluid color from uh, Golden. Okay, so then, uh, as you see, I started by this very beautiful contrast of complementary color, uh, and you see the uh, yellow gold and the blues playing together and that's how i start after that i don't re really uh, focus on what is my inspiration anymore because when you advance uh, so you just look for the balance of the painting in general and it's an uh, unconscious process okay so then now i want to answer uh, the second question what is a diptych so um, okay a diptych is two painting that are like twins but there is a triptych uh, and more when it's more than that we name them polyptych and uh, it's a series of painting uh, or of canvases or panel that work together very well and are painted in the same uh, period of time generally. Um, every painting have her own direction and personality, but they tie together, they are cohesive. Both painting tend to work well together, even uh, when they are different from each other, it means every painting could have her own personality. So, uh, but still we see them as uh, very tied together. If we hang them, for example, in a gallery, they are clearly done by the same person, by the same artist, in the same period of time or the same stage of development they will make sense together like like a team so uh, the diptych or a series of painting uh, always have something in common uh, and this thing could be the color 
uh, could be the composition, co could be the techniques, could be the idea, could be a concept. Uh, always there is, there is something that ties them together. And uh, even if they are not painted in the same time, it means uh, not in parallel. For example, today I'm starting this one and the next time in the coming video, I will show you how to start uh, the second part of the diptych and I will explain to you, you will see how to match them and how we can progress and by the, the, by the end we will see, we will try to comment the result to explain how this diptych work together. So stay tuned and I hope you will be with me uh, in this very nice experience and I hope I can motivate you to start working on a Siri or on a diptych just to start on a diptych thank you very much and see you next time bye bye Thank you.